Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Zelda Dungeon Snail Mail version of the mailbag. Uh, in this episode we have four letters, well, three of them that are regular letters, and we have one... Ugh, ...package that I've sort of opened because I just want to sort of see what's inside. We'll leave that momentarily. But first, the first one comes from Kansas. And uh, this user writes, Dear Zelda Dungeon, My name is Will and I am 11 years old. I am from Eastern Kansas and I've been watching and reading your content for a few years now. I find Mr. Simpson's walkthroughs very interesting and explanatory. Mr. Hagopian, spelled incorrectly, I have to say I love your collection videos. You know a lot about your stuff. Mr. Magnani, the ZD Countdown is very funny. I like how he uses the last names. The marathon was so cool. It was very nice of all of you, too. Especially Mr. and Mr. Simpson coming all the way from Alaska. Take time and raise money for those kids. I really like the idea of the snail mailbag. It helps the US, US the post office. It gives them more money and boosts the economy. I hope Zelda Dungeon becomes the biggest Zelda website. Uh, well, thank you for the letter, Will. Uh, you don't need to be as formal. We are a fan site, so you don't... <laughs> uh, and I like how he had some drawings here. And ZD, more maps, specific guides, and screenshots than any other site. News as it comes. Not just text, 100% video walkthroughs as well. Best walkthroughs in the business. <laughs> I guess these are slogans of sorts. But uh, thank you, Will, for the letter. And uh, moving right ahead. Next letter comes from Will as well. Uh, this Will is from uh, Texas. And Will writes... I really enjoyed your Skyward Sword walkthrough. Oh, dear Mossies. It helped me through one of my favorite games of all time. Zelda is, in my opinion, it is one of the best games of the last 25 years, and my favorite Wii game. Thank you for making this. The Legend of Zelda, the walkthrough of time. A little drawing. And he attached some fan artwork of sorts. It's got Link, Zelda, Ganon from The Wind Waker. And uh, you can take a look at it. And we got the little pearls at the top, the three spiritual stones. There's Princess Zelda. I think that's based off the Wind Waker or Minish Cap artwork. Or Wind Waker artwork. That's based off the Ocarina artwork. That's based off the Wind Waker Ganon artwork. So uh, thanks for the letter and thanks for sending in the fan artwork. Pretty cool. Alright. Next letter comes from. Well, it's from Fallen, and he is from Minnesota. And he writes, Dear Zelda Dungeon, I love your walkthroughs. They are very helpful. I noticed that some games don't have video walkthroughs. I prefer the video walkthroughs, so I'm wondering if you could make videos for them. Um, eventually, we would like to have video walkthroughs for the entire Zelda series. It's just a sort of a long process, and uh, we have one in the works right now. Um, not sure when the release date will be, but it, it's in the works. It's coming. For the Zelda mailbag, have any of you guys ever thought of a Zelda movie? I have, but I also see how it would be hard to do because each Zelda game has a story. So they would have to change the story a bit. If they would make a movie, what game should it be related to the most? I think Link to the Past or Link's Awakening. What's your thoughts? Love, Zelda fan. Fallen. P.S. What game... Do you say every Zelda fan should play? Well, obviously, a Link to the Past for that last one. But in regards to a Zelda movie, uh, I'm, I'm I'd rather not see it. I don't think the Legend of Zelda series, given it's an adventure game, would translate well to a movie because you're not gonna, you know, part of the experience with Zelda is like the exploration and just, you know, walking around the overworld and talking to townsfolk. 
you're obviously not just going to see random wandering in the middle of a movie. Uh, if it were to do one, I wouldn't even want it based around any of the games. Uh, a lot of the games use the same basic formula, and I think they could use that same formula for a movie. Um, but, I don't know. I'm on the fence with it. I, I don't... Yes. So, thanks for the letter, Fallen. Alright, let's look at this big boy. So, I know it's in here already, but uh, this stems from a live stream that we did on uh, the Zelda Dungeon, or the Dungeon Gaming Network uh, Twitch TV channel. Um, I stream multiple times a week, and I've uh, been streaming Nintendo Wii and original NES stuff, and the topic came Xbox 360. You should play... Uh, we, I was talking about streaming live, I think I was talking about streaming live Xbox Live play, and uh, well, lo and behold, a fan uh, who goes by the name Ardent Rage on uh, the Twitch TV. He writes, Hello there, Zelda Dungeon Mossies. You don't have to read this on the mailbox, unless you want to. Uh, this is my Xbox 360 I've used over the years. I had a lot of fun with it, but I am now a PC Wii gamer. I no longer had a use for it, so I would love to see you play some of these games. I left notes on each of the games to give you a little insight into my experience with them. Uh, I'm going to skim through some of this, but... Um, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask were my childhood. I know A Link to the Past is your favorite, so I'm doing a Let's Play of it soon on my channel, on his YouTube channel. I never beat it as a kid. That draws me a little closer to my point. I have already done a Let's Play of Skyward Sword. It wasn't the best quality, but it did take me 32 hours to beat. I have the whole thing uploaded. I would love it to help your channel out in any way possible. There was an application, I missed it. Lol. Uh... Anyway, he goes on to talk about uh, some of the stuff he does. I'm going to put a link in the description below to uh, Ardent Rage's YouTube channel. You should definitely at least take a look at his videos. If it's something you like, you should subscribe and, uh, you know, you should watch. Uh, so, I really appreciate the gift, Ardent Rage, and uh, does this, have a, this has a return address on it. Yes, it does. Um, and I will be sending you something special in the mail. Um, but <clears throat> I'm going to run through what I got here. So, Ardent Rage sent me, well, in it is an Xbox 360 console, but he has included several games. Uh, one of them is Dead Space, Xbox 360, Rock Band 2, Battlefield. Bad Company 2, Dead Space 2, what's all these two? Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, Rock Band 3, Mortal Kombat for the 360. This is actually one that I I played this at the arcade, at the Galloping Ghost Arcade, but I never had it on the console, so it wasn't very good. So all the competition there sort of they kicked my butt. Um, Resident Evil 5. This is definitely a game I'm going to be playing live on the Twitch TV channel, Ads All the Dungeon. Uh, I'm a big fan, or I was a big fan of the Resident Evil series. I didn't really like Part 4, and thus I never got 5, but it's been a few years, and now that the dust has settled, I do want to play Resident Evil 5. So, uh, we have Silent Hill Homecoming. Uh, I'm a huge Silent Hill fan, uh, and I, this is like the biggest thing I missed out this generation, I'd say, because... I didn't have a. I had a 360 at launch, but uh, broke this drive, and I didn't get a PS3 until recently, so I never got to play the Silent Hill games. And he sent me Silent Hill Homecoming and Downpour. So uh, thank you for those. Uh, we also have Gears of War 2, and we have a few of the Call of Duty games: Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare. Not a huge. Call of Duty fan. In fact, I'm not a Call of Duty fan at all. Um, I don't know if I will play these much. I've heard very good things about the single player, though, and I might give those a chance. So, uh, and then, let's open this baby up. We've got the, here's the controller. 
with the battery pack. Is it? I think this is a special edition version too. This is, yeah, this is the Halo, I want to say the Halo 3 version, because it's got the Halo controller, which is pretty sweet. Show you guys that. And, of course, the Xbox 360 console. So, uh, I'm going to hook this baby up, and um, I'm probably going to be streaming some Xbox 360 games in the next few weeks over at the Zelda Dungeon Twitch.tv uh, channel. Uh, I'll put a link below. You should definitely follow us on Twitch. You get notified whenever we go whenever we go live. And like I said, I stream about four or five times a week. Uh, although in the next two to three weeks, that might be a little iffy because, um, well, for a few things. One, um, Dark Siders Two is coming up and hosting Dark Siders Dungeon. Uh, I'm going to be getting my copy of the game shortly, and a lot of time is going to be spent on that, which I cannot stream for obvious reasons. Uh, but after August 14th or so, I'll probably be getting back into the swing of things, and especially once we get into August and September and October, I'm planning on streaming nightly as uh, my schedule really frees up. But thank you for the gift. Uh, thank you for the letters from all four of you. I actually have a few additional ones, but I will show those on the next video. Um, and anybody else, if you ever want to send anything, I'll put the P.O. Box address below. You can send letters, you can send collectible items, I'll do a collection video. If you send games, at this point now for any system, uh, I will live stream it on our Twitch.tv channel. And Arn and Rage, in particular for you, I will be sending you something special for you. Because this is a, this was a little much. <laughs> but uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, I think that's pretty much going to do it. So. Hopefully I see you guys over at Twitch or just, you know, here back at the YouTube channel. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next week with another snail mail version of the mailbag. By the way, I think I, I think I need an official name. So if you guys have a better name for the snail mailbag, uh, let me know. Post it in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Take care.